Yo, what is up everybody, Matt Luigi here with another Dark Souls 3 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all 11 locations for the Estus Flask shards so that you can get all 15 uses out of your Estus Flask. Let's get right into it with number one. Number one is going to be at Firelink Shrine. You're going to run up the right side staircase inside the shrine until you go outside, head towards the tower that is locked that you need the 20,000 soul key to open. However, instead of going to the tower, you're going to go to the tree next to it, run into the tree, jump off the tree onto the roof. This jump is really tricky so it's probably going to take you a lot of tries but keep trying it you'll get it if you see how i do it in the video once you get onto the roof head to the front of the roof go inside and the estes flask shard is going to be on the walkway Number two is going to be at the high wall of Lothric near the tower on the wall bonfire. That's the second bonfire. So to get this shard, you're going to drop down, progress through the map like you normally would, except once you come to this certain ladder, instead of progressing past it, after you go down it, you're going to go through the doorway right next to it. Keep going, progressing, passing the enemies, killing them as you will. Once you find a very large room with a couple dogs and a couple of those larger skeletons with axes, the Estus Flask shard is going to be around the middle of the room next to a wall on an anvil unfortunately i do not have the footage of me getting it but trust me that this is where the ss flask shard is located as this flask shard three is going to be at the undead settlement at the undead settlement bonfire so that's technically the second bonfire but it's the first one that you actually find from this bonfire just progress through the map like normal go through the first house and once you get to the bay area with the first witch you see with a bunch of people around next to a giant tree the shard is going to be at the base of the tree so you can try running in and grabbing it or you can whittle down the enemies and pick it up once it's a safe location Number four is going to be at the Road of Sacrifices at Crucifixion Woods Bonfire. For this shard, you're going to walk towards the fortress. However, you're not going to go inside the fortress. You're going to go in the river under the fortress. And if you follow my pathing, you should get to a campfire area where there are some enemies. Dispose of the enemies and the shard is going to be to the left of the campfire down a couple steps. It should be pretty easy to see. Number five is also going to be on the Road of Sacrifices. However, this is near the Fair and Keep bonfire. Once you step out from the bonfire, you should see a downed dome building or the top of a dome building that's kind of in the sludge. The shard is going to be right on the side of that. So it is very close to the bonfire. Progress normally. And once you find the big dome, the shard is going to be right next to it. Be careful because there are a lot of enemies around here and the slugs, if they get too close to you, can do some damage. Number six is going to be at the Cathedral of the Deep, near the Cathedral of the Deep bonfire. From the bonfire from the cathedral, just walk straight out. You should see an obelisk with four undeads praying around the obelisk and an item in between all of them. That item is the shard, so you're going to have to knock those undead out, and then you can pick up the shard. Number seven is going to be at the Erythel Dungeon, at the Erythel Dungeon bonfire. For this one, you're going to want to progress through the dungeon normally, and once you get out of the dungeon and you pass some enemies on a walkway that are shooting you some arrows at you, you should find a mimic chest, and that mimic chest is going to have the shard as a drop. Number eight is going to be the Catacombs of Carthus at the Old King's Antechamber Bonfire. From this bonfire room, there's going to be an invisible wall in the corner of the room. Break it down, and then once you walk a little farther, you should see a long hallway with a lot of slugs on the ceiling. Run all the way down there, and the shard is going to be at the end of that hallway, I think to the left. Number nine is going to be at Erythil of Burial Valley at the Anorlando Bonfire. This one's pretty hard to miss since it's very dark where you find the shard. You're going to run up to the very large dark room right before the boss fight. And on the left side of the room near some slugs is going to be a chest that has the shard inside of it. Number 10 is going to be at Lothric Castle near the Grand Archives Bonfire. For this, you're going to want to have the lift activated since it actually isn't too close to the bonfire if you don't have the lift activated. So go up the lift and then instead of going towards the boss fight, you're going to go left up some stairs. Keep progressing to the next large roof area and in the back of that area, you're going to find the shard on a dead body. And finally, number 11 is going to be at Lothric Castle again at the Lothric Castle bonfire. From this bonfire, head to the elevator that goes down. And once you get on that elevator, make sure you are looking for a ledge. You're going to drop off of the elevator early, head out, and then to your right, you should see the shard. So that's it, guys. You can head back to Andre the blacksmith, have him upgrade your Estes flask, and you should get the achievement. I think it's called Ultimate Estes. Go rest at a bonfire, and you'll have all 15 Estus flask uses. You might notice that I have 15 Estus flasks all with plus 10 for the efficiency of it. That is acquired from getting the bone dust shards and if you're looking for those or you don't have plus 10 you can't find your last bone dust shard check out my video guide for bone dust shards where I go through all 10 locations for the bone dust shard. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure if you like this stuff, you check out more of my channel since I have a lot of Dark Souls 3 content. I'm going to be posting a lot more. I'm going to be doing guides, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So if you like this, go check it out. I thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Peace out.